Whether you need to sell AI automations with your websites or if you just want to build a better web design agency, here's the truth. AI automations are the biggest shift this industry has ever seen. To put it in perspective, this is like the horse versus car moment. When cars showed up, horses didn't just become less valuable, they became obsolete for transportation. That's how big this change is and right now AI is doing the same thing to agencies. But here's the key. You don't need to start automating everything. You start by targeting the work that drains your time, that adds the least value to your life. That's why this is the automation that you need to start with. It wipes out all the busy work so you can double down on the only thing that matters, landing better clients and getting more work. By the way, this video is sponsored by our very own product, Malcare. It's the most complete website security ever and we've made a special free plan for our community that will be linked down below if you're interested. Let's actually get N10 running. N10 does have a cloud version, but the free plan only lasts for 14 days. If you install it locally on your computer, you get everything unlocked forever. You can watch how to do that here, and within a few seconds, your browser should open up to your dashboard. It feels a little empty at first, but this is the workspace you'll be using to build all your workflows. Now, Anytin doesn't automatically know how to talk to your apps. You have to give it different permission, and that's what API credentials are for. For Google Sheets and Drive, you need to go into Google Cloud Console, create a new project, and set up OAuth credentials. This gives you a client ID and a client secret key. Just paste these back into Anytin, and your Sheets and Google Drive are connected. For ChatGPT, it's much easier. You just log into platform.openai.com slash API keys, create a new key and paste it into Anytin. Gemini is similar. Head to aistudio.google.com slash app slash API key, generate a key and save it. Basically, this is just you handing over the keys to your apps so Anytin can actually act on your behalf. Once it's done, you never have to think about it again. Next, we need a place to store all our products. That's where Google Sheets come in. Think of Sheets as the source of truth. Whatever data you put in here is what flows into the automation. Uh, I usually create two tabs. The first one is called product source and this is where we keep all the product info I get from my clients. The columns include things like name, SKU, price, categories, stock dimensions and then a few blank columns like image link, short description and long description. These are the parts we'll let AI generate for us and there's also a column called USP which tells the AI what to emphasize in the product image or description. The second tab is called WooCommerce Import and it starts empty at first because the workflow will fill all the data in this for us, making it easier to export and upload into WordPress. At this point, we've got Anytin installed, the apps are connected and the sheet is ready. The foundation is in place. Next, we need to start building the workflow itself node by node. We start simple with a manual trigger. This is the on switch that lets us test the workflow whenever we want. From there, a Google Sheet node pulls in all the rows from our product source tab and a code node filters out anything that's already complete. Let's say if a product already has an image or a description, it doesn't need to run through the process again. Next, we need to build the image prompt. Another code node takes the product details like name, SKU, dimensions, tags, and its USP, and turns that into a clear instruction for Gemini, which is to generate a clean photorealistic product shot on a white background, studio lit environment with no text or watermark. This prompt gets handed over to the Gemini image node, which produces the actual product images. Now we need to store those images somewhere. A Google Drive upload node drops them into the folder you've set aside. Then, a Google Drive share node makes sure all the files are visible to anyone with the link. Now, here's where most people trip up. The share step often returns a fake ID. To fix this, we need to add a small code node immediately after the upload step to preserve the real file ID before it gets lost. Even then, the data can get messy. So, we need to drop in a merge node to combine the preserved file ID with the shared linked output. Once that's done, a Google Sheet update node writes the proper image link into the right row. 
at this point our sheet has working links that actually point to product images all right our images are handled but the products still need the descriptions this is where ai comes in again a code node builds the structured prompt asking gemini or chatgpt for two things a short description under 180 characters and a long description you can run this through chatgpt first if you like but because of rate limits it's often easier to stick with gemini either way the ai message a model node sends the prompt and gets json back the problem is depending on the model you choose the json won't always look the same sometimes it's wrapped up in code fences sometimes it's buried deeper in the response that's why the next step is to add another code node a parser that strips away the extra wrapping extracts the short and long fields and even removes any stray html if needed finally a google sheets update node writes those two fields back into the right row matched by the sku suddenly the empty cells in your sheet now have clean usable product copy there's still one last hurdle though even though we've got google drive links working woocommerce doesn't actually render them as product images if you try importing them they'll break so we need to run the images through a host that woocommerce accepts in this case image bb here's how that looks a google sheet trigger fires when a new row is added a code node converts the drive link into a direct download url and creates a clean file name based on the sku an http request node then downloads the image in binary and another http request uploads this to image bb using the api key the image bb response includes a proper direct link and another code node extracts that link and follows it up with a google sheets update node that overrides the old drive link with the new image bb one and now finally our sheet is woocommerce ready at this point you can download the sheet as a csv and head to your wordpress dashboard go to products click import and upload the csv now map the columns carefully especially the image link to the product image run the importer wait a couple of minutes and your catalog comes alive with names prices images and descriptions sometimes a product or two won't import the first time just don't panic rerun the import with update existing products unchecked and woocommerce will add all the missing ones without touching the ones that have already worked what started as an empty sheet is now a full woocommerce catalog the workflow reads your product data generated images uploads them hosted them wrote the descriptions and handed you a csv file that just works and that's the real story here instead of spending days or weeks entering sqs you've built a system that handles it for you that's time that you can spend where it actually matters landing bigger higher paying clients and scaling your agency i've also linked a document in the pin comment below with every single step all the code blocks prompts and troubleshooting guide so you can follow along line by line if you ever get confused see you in the next one in this 3 minute video i'll show you how to triple your site speed you're really going to thank me for this so click here and i'll see you there